Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to New World. We are going to pick up right where we left off last time. The only thing that I did was I worked on some trade skills off recording, so I went around, did some skinning, cut down some wood, mined some rock, came back to town and used the various crafting stations to turn that stuff uh, into stone, etc. The one thing I couldn't find here in Windward was I didn't find the woodcutting station, so I was not able to make any uh, wooden planks or anything like that. Still kind of have my eye out for where that is, but we made some potions, made some stone bricks and some other things. But we're going to go ahead and continue with what seems to be the main quest oh, line that here. Was much faster than I expected. Don't even try to tell me you actually rested. But you're an adult. You can decide when and where to make yourself at home. You are now officially a resident of Windsward, whether that is temporary or not. And that means you should become acquainted with the settlement. All right, what do we need to know? I would suggest you start by visiting the trading post. Then check out the storage space I've made available for you as well. After that, I suppose we'll put you to work. Oh, well, we could go this way. Looks like that is the way we need to go. I probably do need to store some things. Uh, we are getting high on our weight, so we have a 200 pound weight capacity in our inventory. A lot of that is being used up by things like stone and wood and leather and other ingredients. That's the trading post. I actually already used the trading post, which as far as I can tell is basically an auction house. I used the trading post to get us a basic hatchet so we can start working on leveling that up. If we take a look at the weapon mastery tree for the hatchet, there is a melee tree, berserker, and a throwing tree. We're going to go down the throwing tree. Uh, so we have a couple of active, active skills that we're going to do things at a distance. Uh, my favorite one is... Social distancing. Very on the nose, Amazon. And then we need to find the nearest storage chest. And we could probably put some things in here. Um... I could probably just break down these weapons. I probably don't need to store them. I don't really plan on using many other weapons besides the ones that we're going with. Uh, we could put some stone blocks in here. Coarse leather. And that'll help us with our overall weight. I think for now I'm going to keep everything else uh, on us. I kind of wish they would do a little bit of phasing in the towns just to cut down on the sheer amount of people that the game has to render in one area. Either that or they'll have to optimize a bit more. Well now, that was easy enough, wasn't it? Feel free to store anything you like here in Windsward. We will keep it safe. We always welcome any trading goods as well. It seems Overseer Dottie has taken quite a liking to you. He already wants to rope you into his grand plans for the settlement. Uh, how do you like living in Windsward? Oh, I suppose so. Sometimes one just knows when they're in the right place. Perhaps it's the weather, a certain opportunity, or even the people. In my case, it's all of the above. I belong here, if that makes sense. I strongly suspect that it will have something to do with drinking or preparing for battle. He's asked to see you. I would ask you to try to keep him in line, but I think it would be a wasted effort. Uh, 
they'll probably show this to us, but there is a town project board, and I have grabbed a few of the quests here. So these are just various quests you can grab off the board. Hunt a boar. Uh, deliver 90 timber. This is why I was looking for the woodcutting station, which I never found, because I have a lot of wood. Um, I just don't know if I need to turn that into timber or what exactly. It's the, the wood cutting is the one thing that I literally haven't found or figured out. It's a little bit strange to me. Ah, there you are. It's time for us to get to work, my friend. The Winswood settlement won't defend itself, you know. And you and I, ho ho ho, we're going to make a great team. This guy's a little bit over the top for my taste. They're giving us all these tools. We already made all of our basic tools. Amassing resources, supplies, anything we could possibly need. Ah, that's the spirit. Let's start with raw materials. Wood, stone, and rawhide. Gather what you can, and then get it all refined at one of our workshops. It's good, honest work. <laughs> yes, I, I wish I could. Uh, I have all this stuff. I wonder if I pull this out of my inventory, if it's going to count, or if I have to do it all again. Yeah, huh. Well, that kind of sucks. It seems like it counted the green wood from bushes, but it didn't count any of the stone or any of the skinning that I did. Alright, well, that's not too big of a deal. Let's just head out of town here and we'll go do that. We can level up our hatchet a little bit, fighting some of the wolves in the surrounding area. So, it's not a complete loss. I wonder if that stuff had been in my inventory and not in the storage chest, if it would have counted. Otherwise, I don't know why the green wood from bushes would have counted. And nothing else. It's a little bit weird. And yeah, the reason I don't want to do a lot of the profession gathering stuff on recording is because it, it does take a long time to skin something or to break a rock. We also need to be on the lookout for iron. Iron will look a little bit like a boulder, but it will be black shot with like coppery strands going through it and we're gonna need that to make better weapons i believe Probably going to get attacked by the wolf ahead of us before we're able to skin this if he moves any further. Okay, he stopped. Alright, now we just need stone. The cool thing is if players kill an animal and they don't skin it, you can go ahead and skin it. The bad thing is if you kill an animal and don't act fast enough, somebody can just run up and take your skins. Okay, the thing that I really don't like about the hatchet though, even though it seems like it would be a good combo for the sword and shield, is that it's also slash damage. I don't think that I want two weapons that are going to deal the same type of damage. The great thing about having the Warhammer was that it was impact damage and a lot of things would either be weak against slash or weak against impact. 
if we have two slash weapons and we come up against something that is strong against slash damage, we're kind of screwed. Maybe I'm not going to do the hatchet. Thank you for interrupting us there. Maybe I'm not going to do the hatchet, guys. Maybe I am just going to do the Warhammer. If we wanted to do range, we could do Musket. I believe the Musket is impact damage. Hmm. The cool thing is sometimes if you get interrupted uh, doing the mining or the tree cutting, it'll kind of pick up right where it left off. Craft timber at the wood shop. Okay, <laughs> this is good because it's going to take me to the wood shop and the wood shop was the thing that I just I wasn't able to find at all. So this is actually good that we have this quest. Yeah, now that I've thought about the different kinds of weapon damage, I don't think I can conceivably do the hatchet with the sword and shield. Uh, we also need to eat. See, like, this person literally just ran up. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. But see how what I mean? Like, that is not very good etiquette. He watched us kill that, ran up, and as quick as he could, skinned it. I don't like that. But it's an MMO, and it's the internet, so... You can basically count on people to be rude as hell. That's one of the reasons why I don't really interact with people. <laughs> Even in MMOs, I, I tend to prefer them as a solo experience unless I'm literally doing a dungeon or a raid. Because people aren't polite. And people don't really understand that like, yeah, you might think I don't have to be polite, I'll play the way I want. Being polite makes life so much more enjoyable. It just does. Okay, here it is. Here's the wood shop. Great. Okay, timbers. Let's make all of them. I love that you can tell it how many to make, and it just makes them all instantly. That's such a great quality of life thing for crafting. Alright, where was this? I feel like this is not marked on the map at all. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm I guess I'm just a little bit confused. It's probably fine. Let's just move on. We've made our timbers. Let's move on. starting to really stock up on some supplies here, aren't we? You can never have too much, I say. <laughs> and that goes for everything. <laughs> From now on, we'll be posting any supply request to the town board. Visit the board or just come talk to me. And ah, see now, there's a true warrior. Building supplies are one thing. But steel and leather, blades and plate, that's the real deal. Yes, indeed, my friend. We should get Artificer Cotherin to fire up the forges straight away. Artificer? I would have said Artificer, but Artificer? Okay, fine. Perfect, perfect. Sandris is one of the finest smiths in all Eternum. I'm sure the two of you will get along smashingly. <laughs> get those forges fired up. Oh. Talk to Sandris. He'll be milling about down there by the forge, if he's not already hard at work, I'm sure. For some reason, this guy's voice actor is like the first voice actor in this game that I haven't liked. Truce Proposal. On this island of eternal life, there have been established three parties of interest, the Marauders, the Syndicate, and the Covenant that shall thusly be referred to as factions. These factions represent their individual interest and motivations that shall be introduced to every new denizen, henceforth referred to as the subject of Eternum. Once all three introductions have been issued, the subject is to return to the Magistrate of the Settlement and make a formal, immutable decision on which faction they wish to swear their undying allegiance to. Henceforth, the subject shall belong to their chosen faction 
and be available to fight in wars for settlement, gubernatorial control, as well as conduct missions for influence within their faction. All members of each faction agree to conduct their fighting away from the settlements of Eternum, as they are hereby decreed sanctuary. So the pact is decreed, and so it shall be for so long as there is life on Eternum. Note, the bloody factions refuse to sign the bloody truce. Perhaps some change in the wording would convince a representative to come forward and unite the factions in this agreement. Constable Duati's Journal, January 10th. Carcetine's complaining again, as usual. I thought all that would stop when I became constable, but it seems some people like to complain no matter what the circumstances. She's got grit, though. I'll give her that much. I've come to suspect the rest of these fools have fallen victim to some strange mental illness. Cowards, a lot of them. I have yet to share this suspicion with anyone, but I'm wondering if it isn't something in the foul. I've heard rumors that sometimes when people come back to life, they take on the traits of any creature killed nearby. The turkeys may actually be affecting the populace. I swear I saw a turkey feather in Koropti's hair the other day. When I looked again, it was gone. And honestly, the whole settlement smells like turkey. I know what they'd say if I tried to tell them. That Dwati, such an imagination when he's in his cups, they'd say. Chain... Changin used to say it all the time. What's a constable to do to get some respect around here? I'll say this much. If Windward becomes threatened by the lost or the corrupted, we're gonna need help from strangers from other settlements wherever we can get it. For the moment at least, I'm headed back to the tavern for a glass of ale and a laugh. Yeah, that seems productive. Hello there. You must be this new hero doughty has been talking about. <laughs> he cannot stop talking about you. And I mean that quite literally. At any rate, he said he'd send you my way, and, well, here you are. Not me close means well, to be sure. He's just... Well, he's more of a talker than a doer. That would suits me just fine, however, as I am exactly the opposite. Do you enjoy your work? I do. I'm also familiar with the Constable's Grandois plans. I suspect he told you to come down here and tell me to fire up the forge, did he? That's exactly what he said. Yes, he says it quite frequently. Apparently oblivious to the fact that I always keep the fires lit. <sighs> at any rate, what say we start simple? Try your hand at forging just an iron sword. I'll give you the ore. Open the satchel of ore I gave you, smelt it, and then hammer out an iron sword. Simple enough, I think. Alright, some rawhide and iron ore. Let's open the next one. Common round shield. Alright. Open the satchel of ore I gave you. Uh, we did that. Let's. Where is the smelter at? There's the forge. Smelter's over here. Well, let's see, we need to craft the iron long sword. And I think I'm gonna craft an iron warhammer. We'll try out the the musket. I really like the warhammer a lot during the beta, and like I said, it's impact damage. Ah, 
right, let's see your handiwork here. Uh -huh. Impressive. I should hope I'll see you around the forge often then. You're welcome to use it any time. Skills like yours shouldn't go to waste. Oh, uh, before you go wandering off, you should meet survivalist Carcetine. Uh, while dying isn't necessarily permanent on Eternum, it can be quite painful. She can offer insight on avoiding it. Oh, the kind that keep you from freezing. You're starving to death out in the wilds. Yeah, being alive and frozen solid is particularly unpleasant. <laughs> Talk to Carcity. It's rare that she's actually here. Uh-oh. Here comes another tourist. I'm just about over everyone in this settlement expecting me to keep them safe. It's not my job. Look, I hate to be harsh, but survival is not always a given here. Whether outside or in, people do die, or worse. Become corrupted, lost. None of us get a free pass. Why? There are many reasons. For starters, it's a place where you can rest, and you can craft supplies. Perhaps more importantly, if you get yourself killed, it's a convenient place to be resurrected. With all this talk about corruption spreading, it sounds to me like being safe is a thing of the past. I mean, what do you do if this settlement gets overrun by corrupted? And then you'll really be in the thick of it. I mean, maybe you got what it takes, maybe not. Fine, let's find out. How about you head out there, make camp, and do some hunting at some of the local wolf dens? All right, local wolf dens make camp to set a respawn point and travel to Dankfer Hollow. Which apparently is going to be down this way. We'll try the musket out. It would be nice to have a ranged weapon. I just know that the Warhammer was super functional and I really enjoyed it. And it doesn't have ammo to deal with, so... The other thing is that the musket is a primary dexterity based weapon and we've been putting basically all of our points into strength. So yeah, maybe we ought to just do this and do this. Open up our cache here. Toughened leather legs. Any other points of interest along the way? Doesn't look like it. We could go up here and grab uh, this little side quest. Fishing with shields. Collect wool louse bait by gathering bushes for... Let's, let's go do this before we take on our main quest. And we do have boar hunting, so we could fight some boar along the way. Level up our warhammer a little bit, hopefully. And I am going to try to skin everything that we fight that is skinnable. That may get a little bit tedious, and if it does, I'm sorry about that. Requires harvesting skill 30. This is kind of confusing to me because I'm not sure what in the world we could have been harvesting that requires a lesser skill. I, I haven't seen really any other harvesting nodes besides those exact ones. Let's check this one here. Yes, yeah, he requires harvesting skill 30. And 
Yeah, I mean... Whew, harvesting, I guess I don't really understand harvesting yet. Didn't really do any of it in the beta. Hello, I'm Master Fisher Shields. Ah, ahoy there. Before you get to the adventure and the glory, you'll need to learn how to fill your belly with the bounty of the sea. First, you'll need some bait. Some of the most readily available bait are wood lice. Creepy crawly creatures that live in bushes. The rest you can get through various other means. Alright, so maybe the bush is right around here? Or not? We're getting stuff, we're just not getting any bait. Okay, there we go, four out of five. There we go. draw in larger fish and believe you me size matters beside that though there's still some more basics I want to impart to you skipper how goes your fishing what should we do next ah, let's get it on the action now fishing involves three basic steps casting hooking and reeling the sucker in it May take some getting used to, but once you get into the pattern, you can go for hours non-stop. If you can catch three fish, take them and go show Ruby and Everfall what old shields taught you. Recommended level 10. Okay, so that begs the question. How exactly do we use this thing? Everfall will appreciate seeing a fresh face to trade. She's a real evil one and has a lot of natural talent. It said press something to fish. I, I I didn't catch what it said. Cat press something to fish. Okay. Uh yeah. That's not doing anything. Maybe there's a special spot we have to stand in? Okay, uh, maybe I'm not gonna bother with fishing right now. These guys are doing it just fine. Let's go stand over where they're at. Yeah, no idea here. Let's see. Key bindings. Well, I'll have to watch the replay on that. It, it popped up for a brief second what button we needed to press to fish, and then... Here, what is that button? Is that tilde? I'm really having a hard time understanding what button that even is on the keyboard. It's so small, and it doesn't really look like much of anything. Yeah, we're gonna come back to this some other time. Alright, let's head down to the wolf den here and get moving on our main quest.
We do have some upgrade points that we need to spend here in a second. Let's deal with this wolf first. Not sure why the wolf was carrying a hatchet, but uh, just one of the many questions we might never get answers to. Someone is not skinning their wolves. Why would they do this? Camping restricted in landmarks. Let's back out a little bit and see if we can lay our camp down back out here. There we go. We do have the resources. We need green wood and flint. And there's our camp, so that's going to act as our spawn point if we do get killed. And we need to find five dank fur wolves. Somebody dropped a tree right on our battlefield here. Uh, okay. All right, well, some strange mob behavior. Preferably we would find one that isn't already engaged. Yeah, see these we can't harvest either. There we go, there's Warhammer level two. No one is skinning my wolf. I love just seeing all the trees falling everywhere. It's actually really entertaining. We do need to eat so we can get some health regen going. And our next objective is to travel to the Inkwell Cave.
Uh, that would probably be a good use for a ranged weapon, hunting things like turkeys that are simply going to run away from us. Don't know if we need turkeys or not. Wait, what was that button? It, I saw it pop up. Press a button to fish. And now it's gone. It's fun to be stumped by what's probably the simplest thing. Uh, maybe we're not getting to that this way. It, it looks like maybe we have to go all the way around to the north to get there. Potentially, maybe? Let's make a camp a little ways out here. Uh, uneven terrain. Yeah, this is all pretty darn uneven. Is there going to be anywhere we can do this? Doesn't look like it. I'm not going to bother with that right now then. And hopefully we don't die. Grab Shockwave, slam the hammer into the ground, causing three, a 3 meter radius AoE earthquake that deals 80% weapon damage, applies stun to all impacted targets. Maybe this turquoise prisma bloom will help us level up our harvesting? Yeah, there we go. And we just need one more wolf. If we stand here long enough, we're bound to get a respawn, it seems. But let's have a little bit of a look around. There we go. I kind of just love the, the feeling of the impact that the Warhammer gives is really satisfying to me. I'm kind of a big fan of just melee. Being in melee, wearing heavy armor, being up close and personal with the enemies. It's kind of one of my favorite things in these types of games, so... 
All right, we are like pretty burdened. We need to maybe start salvaging some things. All right, that helps a little bit. We could equip the hat. I kind of... Well, that doesn't look bad. What I hate is when you equip a piece of headgear in an MMO and it, like, gets rid of your hair. That's kind of what I hate. So that didn't happen here. Oh, hello there. All right, I think we're ready to head back to town. A little bit of fall damage there. Uh, we still have the quest for boars. Although I really don't know if this is, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> I really don't know if this is counting towards the boars that we need. It looks like it is. We just have to remember to go in and pin those up into our log so we can track them. I'm kind of thinking these green plants here might help us uh, with our harvesting. That's one of our lowest level trade skills at the moment, so I do want to take advantage of these. I also love that we get experience points on our character for everything that we harvest, cut down, mine, skin. It's, it's always pushing our character forward, both in terms of trade skills and just overall character progression, which is really great. Just a beautiful sunset. No big deal. Well now, someone's strutting in here like they've proven something. I guess maybe you're a survivor after all. All right, I'll offer you one tip no one ever seems to remember. Your camp is your real home. Set it somewhere so that if you do die, you're not too far from camp. That is a good tip. Ah, uh, well, I got plenty to share. Maybe when I trust you more. Meantime, Magistrate Koropati was looking for you. You should go see what she wants. Oh, and hey, 
watch your back out there. Uh, let's take a look at our inventory. Maybe we need to store some things. Uh, yeah, like we have a ton of rawhide. We should probably turn that into leather and then maybe we store that for when we need to do some crafting later on. Still not really familiar with where everything is at. Here's the tannery. Let's head down right to the south here. That's the workshop. Achievement unlocked, Novice Tanner. Cool. Okay, does that unlock any more recipes or anything? It looks like maybe it does. Uh, we can make some potions, we might as well, just to get this leveled up. It's it's taking a long time to actually level this up at all, apparently. Let's go ahead and pop these into the storage. Same thing here. And I kind of want to see what it'll take to create some better tools for gathering. Though maybe the forge is not where we do that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really not sure where we would craft uh, just basic tools unless we can do that at our campfire. There we go, that took our weight down quite a bit. been getting acquainted with some of the settlement's more colorful characters. I hope no one's gone so far as to be offensive. Of course, many around town find Overseer Dotty to be the most frustrating. I'm feeling a little impatient with him myself. And why is that? Miklos has only been here a few years. He's still got that old world cavalier attitude about things. You seem more reasonable, however. Perhaps you could help me with something. What do you need? If we mean to defend the settlement, we must acknowledge that the factions are our best bet. You should speak with the Marauders, the Covenant, and the Syndicate, 
and decide with whom you'd like to cast your lot. All right, we can do that. I've thought about this. I'm pretty sure we're going to go with the Marauders. Uh, but we do have to go around here and talk to all of them. Glad to meet you. What can I do for you? Tell us about the Covenant. Aye, the spark is what gives you life. It's the mover within ye, the purpose, the beliefs that rise you from your bed every morn. The Covenant are the stewards of the spark and of the poor souls who wander in darkness. So you seek an audience with yours truly? What subject do you fancy? A Tell us about the syndicate. We are the only ones here who have the acuity to unravel the mysteries of this place. We will learn the secrets of Azoth and its power, and usher in a new era of prosperity for all. You think you are the stuff of marauders? Do not underestimate us. Our path demands sacrifice. Tell us about the Marauders. We are the strongest of the strong. Where others hesitate, we charge head first into the fray. A Marauder is rewarded not only in gold, but in the glory of each victory. Meet with each of the three factions. I sympathize with your hesitation. The factions can sometimes be a headache here. But I cannot dispute the fact that you have Dare you believe yourself worthy of the Marauders? Are you bold only of tongue? Or can you support that with action? All right. Engage in special faction missions. Complete missions for XP coin and faction tokens. Earn influence to determine territory control. Complete strategical... Compete strategically against enemy factions. Gain access to elite faction gear, spend faction tokens on special weapons, armor, and consumables. I feel like these guys might give us like the coolest plate armor that we can get, so. Flagging for PvP, territory control, faction wars. Territory influence. I don't know how much we're going to get into PvP. I'm not a huge PvPer. I know like a lot of this game is actually built around... PvP. It, the game itself back in Alpha kind of started as like a PvP crafting sandbox. My initiation into the Marauders was the pivotal moment of my life. Now, accept this challenge to complete yours. What is our mission? Aternum is a land full of riches and rewards, awaiting those hardy enough to claim them. Cooper's Ranch has been overrun by the Broke Barrel Withered, forcing families to resettle elsewhere. And you want us to take it back? Not necessarily, but we should settle the score with the Broke Barrel and lay claim to their spoils. Your vengeance won't restore what those families have lost, but it will demonstrate your character. All right, then let's do it. All right, that's going to be to the northeast. Uh, we unlocked quite a few titles, it seems like. Dismiss those for now. And yeah, I think this is going to be a good spot to take a break, guys. When we come back, we're going to head right out to Cooper's Ranch. And apparently we will be fighting some Withered out there. Uh, I don't know if there's any side quests for us to pick up in town yet. Nothing showing yet on the map. So yeah, we'll head right out to continue what seems like part of the main story questing next time. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate 
all the support. It does mean the world to me. Let me know what you think of the series so far. I want to hear from you. And as always, take care of yourselves out there in the real world and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Eternum sometime soon. Bye now.